Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video about things that you should and shouldn't bring to college, kind of clothing edition. I did a video pretty similar to this last year and I'll go ahead and link it down below. You guys seem to really like it, so I thought I'd kind of revamp it for this year with new tips and tricks that I've learned throughout the year. So obviously this list could be completely different for you depending on the type of school that you go to or what it, like activities that you're involved in. I'm going to be a junior in college, if you didn't already know, just for reference, and I go to a smaller school in North Carolina, so just keep that in mind throughout the video. You might have to kind of adjust some of these things depending on where you live, but this is what I found that worked really, really well for me. So jumping into the things that I think you should bring to college, the first one is a really nice pair of leggings. I did not realize the difference between like Target leggings and Lululemon leggings until very recently. I just always thought it was like the same and people were just paying for the brand name, blah, 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 blah. No, there is such a big difference. I feel like I can take on the world in my Lululemon leggings. I know that sounds kind of crazy. I don't know how else to explain it, but they just kind of suck everything in and I feel so much more confident wearing them. They hold up so much nicer. They don't pill. You can get them custom hemmed. If you're short like me, having leggings that actually fit to my height, I've literally never had before. If you're like me and you wear leggings like four to five times a week, I would definitely recommend investing in a pair. They're gonna last forever. Lululemon especially has a really, really great um, return policy and kind of fix it policy if that makes sense like if they rip they'll go ahead and fix them for you they'll do free hemmings it's just a really great pair of leggings and I wish that I had realized the difference sooner so the second thing on my list is a crew neck sweater I love crew necks I think that they're a lot cuter than hoodies I know that hoodies are kind of coming back but I really like crew necks I think that they're perfect for just throwing on before class I always get cold in the dining halls so they're great for that too or if you're just like running out the door, going to Target or something like that, I just really like having a nice cozy crew neck. It's something that I find like comfort in. And if I'm having like a hard day or something like that, having a crew neck from home or something that reminds me of like a positive memory. I know that sounds kind of weird. It just like, I find it really comforting. So the third thing on my list is a go-to going out look. And this could vary depending on obviously where you go out or if you go out, you obviously don't have to. But for me, I like having one outfit that I know will look good no matter what weather it is, no matter like how I'm feeling, if I do my hair or not. From my experience, there's been a couple nights where I wasn't really planning on going out and then one of my friends was and I got convinced. So it's nice to have something you can just like throw on, you know that it'll work great and you know that you'll feel good in it. Um, for me, that's a bodysuit from Amazon. It's incredible. I'll go ahead and link it down below. If I forget, just like mention it in the comments. It's a long sleeve black kind of lace up bodysuit. It comes down pretty low, so I really like wearing it out at night. And it looks good tucked into like a skirt or shorts, but it also looks really good just with like black high waisted pants. So it's really versatile, and I know that I can wear it in like the spring or the winter when I go out. And I know that it's gonna look good, I'm gonna feel good in it. And like I said, it's black, so if somebody spills something on it, you're not gonna see it. And if like, God forbid it got ruined, it was only like $10. So I don't worry about it going out, if that makes sense. Um, like I would never wear a free people shirt out or something that's more expensive. So just having one outfit that you feel good in to go out and you just like have ready on hand, I think is really important and something that you should definitely bring with you. So my fourth thing is a good pair of walking shoes. If you've been subscribed to my channel for like two years or so, you probably remember I live, breathe, died by those Target white canvas shoes. I can't even tell you how many pairs I've owned in the last couple years. And they're really great, but they just have no support. Like they're very thin. You can kind of feel the ground when you walk, if that makes sense. And this past December, I got Adidas Superstars. And I know that they're basic, but just having shoes with like a thick bottom and actual like arch support and laces that like really actually tie up well makes the biggest difference. I feel like this is especially important if you go to a bigger school. My school is pretty small, so the longest I'll be walking is normally like 20, 25 minutes on a bad day. Um, but if you go to a city school or somewhere that's just like a larger campus and you're walking a lot, I would definitely recommend investing in a pair of shoes that are a little bit nicer, whether that's just like running shoes or like more fashion street shoes like Vans or Superstars or something like that. I think that that's a really important investment and it like actually like aligns your back better and stuff like that, but that's another tangent. <laughs> anyway, moving on. And then the last thing that I think is important to bring to college is a rain jacket or an umbrella. I was anti-umbrella for like 
most of my life. I don't know why. I always thought like, oh, I'm not afraid of water. It's not a big deal. Um, when you're carrying your laptop around, it is a big deal actually. Learn that the hard way. Um, so I'd really recommend getting either like a bubble umbrella. I know it's a little bit pretentious, but honestly, I love mine. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's basically like a big clear dome of an umbrella. So it covers your back a little bit more and your face so your makeup won't smear, which is really nice. Um, and they're not that expensive. I wanna say they're around 15 or $20 or a rain jacket that's a little bit oversized. I know it looks so dumb, but if it's raining, I will put my rain jacket on top of my book bag. And again, I know that that looks so silly. You kind of look like a turtle, but I'd much rather look dumb walking around than have like water damage on my computer or my notebook get like soaked through the rain because when it rains, it pours, at least in North Carolina. Um, so make sure that you have some sort of rain gear prepared if you're going to a school where you know it's gonna rain. So moving on to the things that I think you shouldn't bring to college, the first one is a bunch of formal dresses or really even just a ton of dresses in general. I find that I pretty much never wear any of the sundresses that I bring to college. If you're in a sorority, this might be a little bit different, um, but I still wouldn't recommend bringing more than like one or two because if you're in a sorority, you're gonna have a group chat with your pledge class, all of your sisters. You can always swap dresses with people. You don't need to bring all of your formal nice dresses in your tiny closet. I feel like it's just not realistic that you're gonna wear all of them. I found that having like one or two nicer dresses in my closet is plenty. It covers the base if I need to dress up for something or go to an event with someone. And if I need something else, I can always borrow something from a friend and it just works out better that way in my opinion. So the second thing I think you shouldn't bring is stuff that you haven't worn in two or three years. And I know that that sounds like kind of obvious. I feel like I brought everything and I, I think I had the mindset of like, oh, I haven't worn this since like junior year of high school, but I'll wear it if I go do this or if I do this. If you haven't worn something in that long, you're not gonna wear it in college. So the third thing I think you shouldn't bring is too many shoes. I brought way too many shoes to college with me the last two years. I think I've worn my high tops once in college. I think I've worn my Sperry's twice. Like they're just not really my style. I don't wear them anymore. I think that they're nice to have. And if you know you're gonna need them for a certain occasion or like you always wear high tops or something like that, like obviously bring those. From my experience, I feel like I wear the same like four shoes every day. I have like my sneakers, I have my going out shoes, I have my like Adidas and I have booties. And that's pretty much all I wear. Obviously there's a few more mixed in, but I would bring like 16 pairs of shoes when I know that I could cut that down to like 10 absolute maximum, if that makes sense. The fourth thing on my list of things not to bring is definitely gonna vary depending on where your school is, but that is bathing suits. I, even though I live in North Carolina and there's some apartment complexes have pools and people go tanning, I have brought bathing suits the last two years. I have not touched one either year. And I know if you go to school in like Florida or California or something like that, you're obviously going to need bathing suits, but for me, I just haven't used them at all. So I'd recommend bringing like one if you're going to, if you're in like a similar situation to me where you like could use it, but probably not. Um, I'd bring like one or two, but don't bring all of your bathing suits if you don't think you're gonna use them. And then the last thing I have is too many accessories. It's kind of hard to explain what I mean um, because I think accessories are great. They can definitely change up an outfit, especially if you wear more like basic pieces. Like I do, like I wear black and white bodysuits all the time. So having different like accessories and necklaces to pair with it is great. But what I mean is like bringing five different handbags or 10 different scarves knowing I'm only gonna wear like one scarf maybe. I've brought so many scarves with me the last couple years and I think I've worn a scarf like twice. I have like one really warm one that I wear when it gets cold, but I never really wear fashion scarves anymore. And I only really ever use one handbag. So there's really no need for me to bring five, if that makes sense. So when you're packing, just evaluate what you think you're actually going to need versus what you're just packing to pack or you think you might need. Worst case, you can always have somebody ship it to you or get it over a break. I feel like it's better to bring less than too much. So basically, I just bring accessories that you know you're gonna wear or maybe if you've worn it in the last like year, bring it, but if it's been more than that, don't bring it, kind of going back to like the other stuff. So those are all of the things that I think you should and shouldn't bring to college clothing edition. Like I said, that could very easily vary depending on what side of the country or wherever you go to college and the activities that you're involved in. But this has just been my experience throughout the last two years and what's worked for me. If you have any opinions or anything that you think people should or shouldn't bring to college, make sure to leave that down below in the comment section. I'm sure that that would be super helpful. I'll also go ahead and link the other videos that I've done kind of related to this down below if you want more of my like 
like tips and tricks and stuff like that. And I'll also have my social media down below per usual. I've been posting a ton on Instagram and Twitter lately and I would love for you guys to check it out. And with all that being said, I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.